What is perception? Well, that's a big question. Some people, calling themselves naive realists, think they've got the most straightforward answer. Naive realists think that when you perceive something, you relate to and become aware of the world outside the mind. When I take a walk, I rely on my perceptions to guide me around flower beds and riverside. When I do that, perception indeed appears to be an encounter with just that environment. Well, this may sound simple, but here's a complication. I've noticed that philosophers assume that the naive realist makes a stronger claim. So they think that the naive realist doesn't just say that we become aware of the outside world, but also that perceptual experience is a relation. So it's commonly assumed that naive realists are committed to a relationalism about sense perception. And suddenly things don't sound so naive at all. But it doesn't seem right. Naive realism is the view that sense experiences relate us to a mind-independent world. And relationalism is the view that sense experiences are relations. These are just different views. Here's an analogy, a punting tour. If I take a punting tour on the river Cam, then that may relate me to all sorts of things, to the river, uh, to the backs of Queen's and King's College, and to other people in my punt. But all this doesn't make a punting trip a relation. Just the fact that I am related to all sorts of things and people when I go on a punting trip doesn't commit me to a relationalism about punting trips. And it's the same with perception. Sure, a sensory experience may relate me to other things in the world, but that doesn't mean that the experience itself is a relation. So if you've got naive realist inclinations, then not to worry. You can say that sense experiences relate you to the world without losing your naivety.